cutting into this big deficit. First offering on its way. Line fouled off to the left and a few rows back. Ball one. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding him on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes now thus far. First pitch coming. Here it Robert. is. Esfaldo. Robert is Waldo is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Line towards center field. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Well, every at bat counts. I mean, it's a nice piece of hitting. It's late in the game and obviously a losing cause. Second but I'll take my single. Alexi Amarista. Into the box, Alexi Amarista, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Oh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Ready for another, another shot now. Jose Martinez. He struck Jose out twice Martin. thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. Now a fastball to start things out. Didn't miss by a lot, but it's 1-0. Swing, and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. And here's a ball hit in the air. Donaldson onto the grass, and the inning is over. This one pretty well in the bag. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Mariners 12 and the Astros nothing. Digging in the switch hitter, Billy Hamilton. He'll lead things off as they Center look to fielder. perhaps build on Billy an already sizable lead. Drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out. Amarista scoops it up. Throw will not be in time as a perfect bunt there nets him a base runner to lead Third off the base inning. Number one, Sid Seth. In now, Sid Sisk. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now to the plate, Kyle Seeger. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. Here comes the first pitch. And now the runner's trying for third. Pitch inside the throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there. And I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Well, you just keep adding on. That's how you win games, and he's a big part of it right here. That's his third RBI, and they extend the lead in this ballgame. Giancarlo Stanton. There goes the runner, and now they've got him in a rundown. And a good decision to throw as he is toast at second base. Giancarlo Stanton now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Armas moves over. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. M's pick up a run on two hits. At the plate, Pablo 
Sanchez. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. So striding forward now, now Daisuke Shibuya. One for Daisuke two with a double on the Shibuya. ledger so far. The 0 1 pitch on the ground to third to his right, Sis on to first, and Strasburg's in control here, two away. The catcher, number 14, Max. Now at the plate, Stassi. Max Stassi. 0 for two on his line thus far. And he lays off there, 1 and 0. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a ball chopped foul down the left side. No runs, three hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Drilled right back up the middle. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. One, two, three. Ready now, Freddie Freeman. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. Freddie Freeman. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Up next for Seattle. Coming to the plate now, Josh Donaldson. He's been hot in this one. Four hits, including a homer and a double. Hot shot to third. Throw on to first takes care of him, and the top of the ninth is proving unfruitful thus far. Two quick outs here. Here's Corey Seager. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Skied into very shallow right. Barrera moves over, and that retires the side. Mariners are down in order. But they hold a commanding 13 to nothing lead. Stepping up to the plate, Andres right Barrera. He's going to lead things off Barrera. in their half of the ninth Your as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course Jose of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Well, this is not how he wanted to come into this game out of the bullpen. The leadoff man of the inning, he finds himself down 3-0 in count. He's got to take a deep breath, refocus, and get back now in this batting, game. Center fielder, Emil Armas is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. That's a big fastball, obviously, and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. And he takes this one high, one and one. And this one gets away. And that'll hurt as the runner will move into scoring position now. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty two and two. That straight smoke at 99, guys. It's almost unfair. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Freeman is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Now in now, Colin Moran. Baseman. 0 for 3 Colin with a couple Moran. of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as you'll take a look at strike one. Grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul for strike two. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think he'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in, make him free. And to score, the runner from second. They got shut out yesterday, and it wasn't pretty. Even though it's taken them a little while Object to get their first the run here, at least they're Bob on the board. Fielder, Robert Eswaldo. Your Josh Hager comes now on to start the inning, him. and he'll have a huge Number lead 71. to work with. Josh 
Hager. Stepping in now, Robert Iswaldo. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready with the 1 0. A fastball that just misses inside. Well, 2 0 now, and this is where he makes his money. If he gets a pitch to hack at, you could bet he's not going to hold back. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's 2 and 1. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. I'm not surprised. I was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching, kind of keeping him off balance. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. And a strike to even the count. One and one. in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now just a bit low tough call but it's two and two has them down to their final strike here it comes and a neck high fastball that time that was kind of a gift to the hitter he's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone it's obviously easy to take that one. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. And this is in the air to right, and this should do it. And he'll squeeze this one for the final out. And the Mariners will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rearview mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say this now. This is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. 13 to 1 is the final lopsided score. The M's get the win on the heels of four home runs. Steven Strasburg records the victory his 13th of the year, striking out 12 in the process. Ricky Pritchett was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night. Time of the ball game, three hours and 36 minutes. A reminder that post-game Metro light rail trains can be picked up at Main Street Square, just six blocks from Minute Maid Park between Walker and Dallas.